Hi everyone, so um yay, I'm back. <laughs> I um decided to just quickly film a I don't know, like an update, I guess, an update. It is nearly nine weeks since my operation. Can you believe it? That's like that's just gone so fast. I really, really can't believe it. And um, yes, I am wearing new glasses. Believe you me, everything looks really weird. I literally just got them today. They um, they are actually like Ray-Ban sunglasses. And I had a client, have a client, the gorgeous Paula. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and she had, she was in my salon getting a hair done and she had... Uh, a book and she was busy reading and she had these glasses on and I was like they're amazing she said they're actually sunglasses and now they're made into glasses so I was like yeah I need me some of those and my glasses are really old anyway 10 years old these little babies so I was like right I'm gonna spend the money upgrade so I love them I really really like them they're so lightweight and everything they're really nice um, so yeah let me know what you think <laughs> um, so um, I'm back to work everything's fine on that front um, I've been back at work for the past seven weeks um, busy definitely fine working everything's great uh, I'm still a bit numb in places and I'm also um, still a bit sore on my left side not not the incision areas. The incision areas are absolutely fine. That's been no problem whatsoever. I had my two week checkup with my surgeon as well. He said everything was great. He did say that, however, my implants were a bit too big. Because I kind of went against what he recommended. And the day before my surgery, I got my um, patient coordinator to order bigger implants for me and as we've said, as I have said, um, and he did say, like, look, I really do think that they were too sort of wide in diameter for your body, but anyway, I love them, I love my bust now. He said that we removed um, a huge amount of scar tissue, which I didn't realise, so, and that was down to the fact that I got very, very bad aftercare after my first surgery. I never saw my surgeon after my surgery, and he never actually... <laughs> Sorry, he never actually told me that I should massage every single day, um, or if he did, it wasn't made into like a this is an absolute must and you have to do this. And if you don't do this, there will be dire consequences. So I massage every day, and it's not like oh kinky massaging your boobs all the time. It's actually pretty like it's tough massaging, and it's like the whole area. So it will be like massaging up here, you know, and like right around. So it'll be like even up like into my armpit and everything so that it's it's basically just making sure that there's like no scar tissue um, toughening and hardening up. Obviously you've got to massage the rest as well, but it was so painful to do it and it's... Mm, it's now a bit better, it's not as painful obviously as the weeks go by. Uh, totally like dribbling, but yeah. <laughs> um, so it, it's much better now and I'm, I'm much, much happier, far happier with the shape of them. The fact that they're sitting right and they're sitting even. My surgeon was a genius. The guy that um, did my op was... Um, I think he's from Pakistan. I'm not too sure where he's originally from because he does go to and from, I think. But um, his name is Mr. Araksai. And I believe he's now left Maya to go and do um, open up his own surgery. So his name is spelled A U R A U R A K Z A I. Um, if I find his thingy, I'll put a link down below because he is a phenomenal surgeon. He's such a good surgeon. Um, and 
I have to be honest, other than that, I'm not really doing very much makeup outside of work. I'm, I'm actually doing a wedding tomorrow. It's um, Chloe, our Saturday girl's mother's wedding tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing the bride and <laughs> and her makeup. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It's an early start. But um, I, can't, I can't wait because the bride, her mother, has not really had much makeup done before. And she was ecstatic after I'd done her makeup. So it's so nice to do makeup on people who are so fully appreciative of of what you've done and, and, and also to see that it makes them feel so much better about themselves. Um, and other than that, I don't know, I, I haven't really been doing very much. Um, especially in the in the way of YouTube videos, I've been trying to focus on so many other things, um, just like getting myself sorted and trying to eat healthily again and losing weight. It's really, really hard to lose weight for me right now. It's just so tough. I put on so much weight during my recovery. It was unreal. I tried not to and I still ended up putting on weight. Um, I would love to lose probably about a stone to a stone and a half right now because I'm, I'm almost, almost tipping the um, overweight scale on like, you know, on a BMI chart, which is really bad. I'm like point five off being um classed as you know normal weight to then being overweight which is very unusual for me i've never weighed this much before so it's very very strange it's a very it's a horrible feeling um so i'm trying to exercise more and trying to eat more sensible but it is so hard um especially when temptations like all around um but i'm also at the moment saving up for another um it's kind of cosmetic but it's also medical um, I really need my teeth doing because I have a lot of fillings and um, back when I was about 14 I had all my amalgam fillings removed and I had them replaced with white fillings um, and it wasn't because they looked pretty, it wasn't so that my mouth looked nicer, it was because of um, health complications. Uh, I don't know how many people do know about this but um, to be quite honest, um, Everybody laughs at me when I talk about it, but research, do your own research. I think I like OD'd on lip gloss. <laughs> do your own research because um, amalgam fillings contain mercury. Now mercury is not healthy for the human body, obviously. It's a heavy metal, it's poisonous, toxic. Research, just google the dangers of amalgam fillings or the dangers of mercury fillings things like that you will come up with so much now a lot of dentists are like it's bullshit it's don't believe it you know yada 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 but my mother does seriously she's like a changed person since having her um her fillings taken out and replaced with white ones and then about over a year ago I had to have um a tooth removed and I had to have loads of dental work done because I had loads of decay because I was I hadn't been to the dentist for years and years and years so I go to the dentist people every six months and um, anyway to cut a long story short I ended up having to get amalgam fillings again because I couldn't afford the 80 pounds 70 pounds you know 90 pounds per f per filling that the white ones were gonna cost at the time so I was gutted but it's just given me I'm just like ill quite regularly and I'm never used to be sick and there's just this and that and the next thing. My mother reckons that I can't lose the weight and I keep on gaining because of the amalgam, because of the mercury, so I don't know. So that's my next thing on my agenda is to get my teeth done. So I don't mean done as I like veneers and stuff because they're very white, quite white and they're very straight. Anyways. But people keep on asking me what I do to get my teeth so so white. I don't smoke. I don't drink red wine. I only drink about one cup of coffee a day, maybe less. I don't really drink tea. Um, I don't eat anything that like stains my teeth, like curry and things like that. So I really, I genuinely do not do anything for my teeth. I'm just quite lucky and I just have white teeth like this. So, yeah. They're not really that way. But anyways, okay. Um, I have yacked far too much now. I've talked a lot of bollocks. You guys have probably turned me off by now. So, <laughs> um, oh, I wanted to ask if anybody, I can't really see when I dip my head down, but if anybody likes my, like, massive, big, bushy bun that I have done, there's so many tutorials on how to do it, but yeah. If you like it and you want to know how to do it, then just let me know. But, um, 
yeah all right guys i love you i want to say that i do read all your comments i try and reply as much as i can i'll try and get back to some personal messages as well quite soon but thank you very much for watching and i love you all Mwah.